Halloween got off to an early start this morning as the YMCA in the city of Pikeville hosted their annual safe and inclusive trick-or-treat event at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. With the support of multiple businesses and vendors in the area, organizers say the event is helping to kick off this year's Halloween festivities with as much fun and safety for everyone as possible. Uh, we're here today, we're trying to help support the uh, early Nightmare on Main event that the City of Pipeville is hosting over at the Expo Center. Uh, us along with the fire department and the guy who stole the show here, stole all the thunder, Sparky the dog. Uh, we're having a blast, all the kids are really enjoying it. Like I said though, he's, he's taking all the, the fun for us, so it's having a good time. Uh, you know, the City of Pipeville sponsored this event with the Expo Center along with uh, Pipeville Medical Center who's helped out a lot this year with us. We're glad to have them on board and it's really helped to make the events a, a huge success. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. The bigger event will be on Sunday. The actual Nightmare on Main event will be on Sunday. It starts at 4 to 6. Executive Director of the YMCA, Shelley Justice Fouts, says the event, which wouldn't be possible without the support of their partners, is meant to help kids enjoy the fun of trick-or-treating in a safe and welcoming environment. Typically, we work with the city of Pikeville and we hold an event that's all day long. So we do the Safe Kids Halloween in the morning and then we have Nightmare on Main Street. Uh, this year it's a little bit different, uh, but we still wanted to make sure we had the opportunity to provide the children the Safe Kids Halloween opportunity. Uh, we invite learners from the area schools to come in and have an inclusive trick-or-treating opportunity. We have a lot of amazing vendors and a lot of amazing partners right behind me. Uh, they make this all happen uh, and we're just happy that the kids can come out and enjoy a great time with us. Uh, so today we're scheduled uh, individually with each school district that agreed to participate and we staggered them to increase the safety, uh, especially with uh, the pandemic right now. This is the first time in two years that we've been able to have the children indoors. Uh, so we've staggered their arrival so that they can keep safe distances, be with their own school groups and their own classrooms. For more information on the event, Justice Fouts encourages viewers to visit the YMCA directly. The city of Parkville is phenomenal. They help us make sure that the event is fantastic for the kids. They've helped provide food today. They've given us space. They've rounded up all of our community helpers, the police, the fire department. Uh, and we're so thankful for them for having us here and letting the learners come and be a part of it today. Uh, you know, uh, if anyone has any questions about the event for the future, maybe attending in the future, they can definitely reach out to the YMCA. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or you can find us at pikefulymca.org. And then we also definitely want to plug uh, City Tourism, and it's visitpikeful.com. Visitpikeful.com. Yes, ma'am. Right. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.